Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about coordination order, or the order in which different systems are calculated for by the calculator in Wireless Workbench 6. The calculator in Wireless Workbench has a lot of features. It's a very powerful calculation engine that does a lot of intermod and other calculations to find compatible frequencies. But there's one input into it that uh, is a pretty automatic, and you may not think about it, but I want to break it down a bit for you, and that's coordination order. So you'll notice in my uh, coordination workspace, I have some frequencies listed for a couple different types of Sure systems. Everything from SLX to PSM1000, UHFR, ULXD, and Axiant Digital. Now, I loaded them uh, just by adding channels in the inventory and importing them into the uh, coordination workspace uh, to, by selecting frequencies from the inventory, but I didn't order anything. This is just the order in which they're listed, and this order is significant. It's not an accident that the order of these systems is in this way. What Wireless Workbench does is it tries to order the types of systems in a very particular order such that it can find frequencies for the systems that have the least flexibility first. Let me break that down a bit more for you. So for those who are familiar, SLX is a pretty old wireless system. It's a mid-tier product. Um, it's been out for uh, quite a while now, since the mid-2000s. Um, and Axiant Digital is our brand new digital wireless system uh, with very wide tuning bandwidth. Um, so why are these ordered in this way? Well, I mentioned flexibility of particular systems. In essence, Wireless Workbench um, has uh, equipment profiles that define how each of the systems it can find frequencies for. Um, it defines where they can tune in the spectrum and how many different possible frequencies each of them can, um, can tune to. And so in an effort to, you know, think of it like feeding the pickiest eater first. If some of these systems can only tune to a couple frequencies, like systems used to in the olden days, you know, choosing between one or two frequencies or eight or 16 total frequencies, um, it would stand to reason that you might want to find frequencies for those picky systems or those inflexible systems with minimal agility first before you find frequencies for systems that have much larger tuning bandwidth that can fit in a lot of different places in the spectrum. And so Wireless Workbench um, builds in this logic by doing some calculations to figure out which systems are most agile and least agile. Now the order in which these systems are listed are reflecting that agility. Systems with the fewest tunable frequencies are listed at the top. Systems with the most tunable frequencies are listed at the bottom. And they're not just listed in this order, but as the calculator goes through and finds frequencies, it will follow this order of um, device type and find frequencies for things at the top before it moves on and finds frequencies for the next possible thing. Now, in you know, in this particular scenario, I'm not asking for that many frequencies, so we're going to find everything we're looking for. Where the, the coordination order really matters is if, for whatever reason, you want to prioritize the calculation of frequencies, whether that's uh, for backup frequencies, um, you want to find backups for um, your money talent first, and they happen to be using Axiant Digital, you might want to modify the order. Or if you're a frequency coordinator and people are submitting frequency requests to you, and you want the order of those requests to be reflected in the calculation that you do, again, same sort of thing. You could modify the order. And this order is modifiable right directly within Wireless Workbench by clicking and dragging these headers. So if I want my Axiom Digital frequencies to be found first, I simply drag that header to the top, and then all those frequencies will be found before any of the other systems. Now this custom coordination order can be a good thing, but as I mentioned, if you've got you know picky eaters as the analogy, or systems that are not that agile, it can be the situation where if they're low enough in the list, all of the usable spectrum for them may be eaten up before um, it gets time for them to find new compatible frequencies. So the ability to revert back to this default order is something um, we wanted to make sure users had the flexibility to do. So this little toolbar button right here, um, if I hover over it, you'll see it says coordination order modified. Click to restore to default. Now it's got a little list of those different device types and a little gray dash there. Um, this icon, if I click it, it'll revert the order back to the default order and that gray dash becomes a green check. And the tooltip is now uh, reflecting that the coordination is set to default. All this is saying is if the order ever gets changed out of default, all you have to do is click this button and you can restore that order uh, back to the, the golden um, order that uh, is defined in preferences. But um, for all intents and purposes, as long as you want this order to be customized, you can shuffle and restack all these systems, save this as a show file or as a coordination file, and all of your custom ordering is going to be preserved. 
Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is what this default order is, how that default order got to be defined in the first place. If you go to the Preferences in Wireless Workbench and you go to the Coordination tab, there's a Coordination Order sub-tab, and this shows all of the different series of devices that Wireless Workbench coordinate for. <laughs> Can coordinate for. Uh, by default, we order these systems per that agility metric I told you about, the number of frequencies that a particular system can tune to. Now, if for whatever reason you want to modify this default order and always make sure that certain systems are coordinated for ahead of others, you know, either from a series perspective or even bands within a series, um, you can change that order by selecting the thing you want to reorder and using these up and down arrows. And that will change the default order that will then, by default, be imposed on the uh, frequency coordination. Um, or the order list.